All right, guys, how's it going? I do apologise for the husky voice today. I've got that kind of Sean Connery with all my shmoney penny accent on at the moment. <coughs> now, this is an add-on review for Save Cams for Blender 2.8. Now, this add-on won't change your world, but it might speed up your workflow. There's two options. There's a the free version, which we always love, and there's a $6 version. Now, the $6 version actually lets you batch render. So, we'll take a quick look at this add-on. So just before I start, I'll address a user question and it was how do you get that matte cap material and it's very simple. If you come up to the arrow up here, select matte cap, click here and then I use this one as default. So hopefully that addresses your question and let's take a quick look at the add-on. So the add-on installs like any other add-on. So one thing that it lets you do is it lets you rename the side tab in the properties. So I renamed mine to camera. By default it's set to tools. It's obviously up to yourself. So this is a very simple add-on. It essentially lets you add camera shots. So, so my camera position's here. I'll jump into this view and I'll hit plus. So that's my first camera. And what I can do is I can quickly rotate and let's say I go to this angle. This option here, add from view, will add the camera and it'll add it in the viewport. So let's say I move to somewhere like here. I can move the camera pressing control alt and zero and I can add it here. So this lets me actually cycle through the different camera positions. Now this could be used for modelling, doesn't necessarily mean you have to render out these frames. Now like I mentioned, this is a very basic tool. When it comes to being productive, I rate it 5 out of 6. <laughs> but it gives you a little bit more control. If you enable type, lens and resolution, that obviously lets you change things. So you can change things to like a panoramic, you can play around with the focal length or the lens and you can change the render resolution. Now hopefully you can see the potential with this add-on. It's really good just for quickly cycling through cameras. Now generally, I won't recommend buying a plugin. It's completely up to you to make the decision. But for $6 and having the ability to actually batch render, it's worth it to be honest. And that's pretty much a basic overview of Blender Save Cams. I'll put the link in the description down below. Go and check it out for yourselves. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, you know what to do, peace.